Good evening. Welcome to Mkenya, Finland. Today I want to talk about uh, part two of um, 10 things I like about Finland. So one thing uh, is, a, is about uh, timekeeping in Finland. People are always on time. It's not like two minutes before. Okay, it can be a, a few minutes before, but always on time, not getting late. Uh, and like um, Kenyan, African time whereby people can just arrive at your house um, one hour after they agreed upon time or people can come to your meeting place late and uh, it's funny that with Kenyans they don't even feel like they need to apologize even when they are like half an hour late and they've kept you waiting in Finland if you're supposed to visit someone uh, at their home for lunch and it's 12 o'clock it's 12 o'clock not 12 30 and if you're running late, it's always encouraged and it's polite to always inform the host or whoever you're meeting. But at work, you can't be late. Otherwise, you'll be fired. Yeah, it's very strict. So the other thing I like about Finland is that there's never shortage of electricity or uh, water. Water and electricity, we don't have shortages. We don't have power cuts. We don't have uh, water shortages. That's something I really like. So we have a very interesting system in Finland of uh, um, uh, electricity providers where Karuna is the uh, one that provides electricity. It basically uh, uh, has monopoly for transferring the electricity and the bill comes separately. Then the people who, the other companies now uh, compete for selling the electricity itself. So one is a carrier, the other one is a supplier. So here is a bunch of list of different companies that uh, sell electricity. Um, so how it works in Finland is that you use the electricity and then afterwards you get a bill. The billing in billing system in Finland works, so there's no fear of any company losing its money. Although some do lose their money, because uh, in Finland, almost every service provider provides services, and then they send a bill. If you do not pay the bill, you get um, a remembrance note. If you do not still uh, honor that, then it's taken to the uh, collecting agent, and then you have to pay. That's just how it is here in Finland. Well, electricity is it expensive compared to Kenya? It's expensive, it's pricey, but I wouldn't say it's cheaper, more expensive. It depends on where you buy your electricity. The other thing I like about Finland is the central heating. So what you're see, looking at on your screen right now is uh, a, a battery, a heating battery. And the pipe in there that you're seeing, um, it's water. So the uh, heat water and then the water supplies in the battery and the warm water in the battery keeps the house warm so that's the central heating you wonder where the heat is coming from so they dig underground whereby heat that is emitted from the ground deep inside the ground is the one that warms the water and the water then is supplied around these batteries all around the building and uh, so your house is able to stay warm especially during winter because we have six months in a year where the it can be very uh, cold which our winter officially is like four months but i usually count six months because i tend to feel like half the year is cold anyway but for those four months the central heating is going to be on and pumping and uh, every landlord is uh, required by law to ensure that there's some type of heating that has been installed central heating is uh, expensive to install for every landlord but it's free for every tenant because after it has been installed, you don't need to pay anything. The only cost that they incur at all is just pumping the hot water to run and then keep the houses warm, which enables us to stay warm and healthy during winter. And it's definitely a necessity. Yeah. So the other thing I like about um, Finland is a transport system. The buses here and the trains, and the trams and the metros, they run well. They run on time. They're accessible. They're safe. They're everywhere. And they penetrate through all neighborhoods, which is something I really, really like, enjoy and appreciate. And uh, well, transport is more expensive compared to Kenya in terms of public transport, but it's still affordable. And uh, since it's um, accessible 
and even better is that the transport system here for the everything for train and, and buses is all is like follows a specified timetable so if the bus is supposed to be at the uh, bus stop at 10 30 it's 10 30 not 10 11 10 12 and that's something i absolutely like because if i have to go somewhere if i have to be somewhere uh, at a specific time i can time myself i know but that particular time the bus will be there the train will be there uh, it's supposed to take half an hour in half an hour i should arrive where i'm going and I'm, I'm, I'm never worried so i can always rely on the public transport to go to work to go meet friends and the public transport is not only within the city but there's intercity and even international uh so we have um some speed trains that go even to russia which is our neighboring country and at a very affordable prices so train i mean public system is something to always uh look forward to um nowadays there's a system where you have to buy the uh, um, ticket beforehand before going to the train electronically using your phone or you can buy a bus ticket um or a train ticket and load your funds there and then uh, there's a machine for ticketing inside the train where you go and then uh, you punch or you basically just um, uh, pay for the trip because you already have the fund so you pay for the trip that you're going and then there are usually ticket um, uh, guys who come to check for ticket and if you don't you've not paid you get a fine of 80 euros which is not funny so for a trip of two euros you risk losing 80 euro but anyway i really love the public transport the other thing i like about finland is um uh, gender equality and uh, especially uh, women in leadership above you see um four very young ladies that are in leadership here in finland uh, the Prime Minister, uh, Sana Marin, is uh, one of the youngest leaders in the government, uh, education minister, health minister, uh, interior, minister of interior, which is um, Maria Ohisalo. And um, basically in Finland, and uh, minister of finance, sorry, Katri uh, Kulmuni. Uh, basically, in Finland, women are respected. You find a lot of women in leadership positions. And uh, the voice of, of women in Finland, I feel like it's been given priority and listened to and it's heard during decision making. Uh, Kenya also, we have women in leadership, but uh, we are yet to see a female in top government positions. So even in if you go to um, companies in board meetings you you you're likely to see women also in finland which is something very empowering very encouraging and uh, something that should be encouraged in other countries also the other thing i like about finland is the maternity leave as you can see from the chart above which i got from the o e c d uh, 2019 uh, Finland is among the countries which give the highest um, time for maternity leave which is uh, 161 weeks um, officially so basically in Finland how we look at it is that you can be on leave up to from nine months uh, because from nine months you can take the child to the kindergarten up to three years so usually it's nine months to two years. And if you want to extend by one year, you can still extend by one year. And by law, your employer is supposed to still secure your job place. So you cannot lose your job place, job position because you went for maternity, which is a very nice thing because children tend to get very quality time with their parents. They get the loving, they get the teachings about their culture values the parents get to uh, enjoy time with their children and they get support also from the social system which i really like the other thing i like about finland is uh, child protection which is uh, last and soil um in finland children's rights are highly uh, respected recognized and protected so in finland if you, uh, things like uh, child labor is completely forbidden 
any slight abuse of children if it's noticed even by strangers passers by by the teachers by the neighbors it is their duty everybody is obliged to then inform the child protection center that oh um i've seen someone beating up the child because here it's illegal you cannot discipline children by via beating them up like uh, we do in africa unfortunately so there are other methods of disciplining children or talking to children um you, you have to ensure that the children have a uh, good care they are, they are clean they feed they sleep on time they go to school they have their um, uh outdoor time so they can go and get fresh air you cannot just lock up your children in finland and imagine oh it's okay it's too cold you don't want to go outside yourself by law you're supposed to take the children to go and get fresh air every day that's just how it is but it's a nice thing and i like it and i feel that children are protected and loved here in finland which is a nice thing and i'm not just saying kenya they're not loved kenya they're also loved but there are things that can be improved the other thing I like about Finland is their active lifestyle that um, people really take pride in protecting the environment and using um, bicycles like or walking as means of transport to work. In Kenya, if you cycle to work, people will think you're poor or you're crazy. Uh, it's very hard to see. I've actually never seen all the years I lived in Kenya and even when I visit, I've never seen a woman cycle to work you know like carrying a laptop and cycling to work I've, i'm yet to see that in finland it's it's a normal sight especially when the weather is good and most um, municipalities actually have started a service of um, renting bicycles so what you see above uh the this yellow bicycles are for the municipality i think municipality of uh, uh, helsinki if i'm not wrong so you go and put a coin and uh, for the amount of time that you are you have paid for, you can cycle, you can use the bicycle to cycle, cycle around and um, for sightseeing or to work or whatever. Quite often is for running small errands. If you're going to work, if you're going to visit a friend, if you're going to the shop and uh, also to keep fit. And I really like this. I, I really wish Kenya could embrace this culture where people cycle. The other thing that I have to mention is that because um, Finnish people like to cycle and the government wants to encourage people to um, cycle more, they've also ensured that they're cycling tracks around um, the cities. So if you visit Helsinki or any other town it's important that you get their cycling map so that you can see the routes because there is a uh, space allocated specifically for cyclists so the risk of being um hit by buses because you're competing for the same space here in finland is not um, there which is a very nice thing uh, and of course by keeping fit everybody can um, um reduce some of this uh lifestyle related um diseases and uh, also have a young and healthy heart see the town enjoy the city so yeah those are some of the other few things i could come up about uh, things i like about finland as you can all tell i really love this country and it has a lot of things to offer if you like this type of video like share and subscribe and see you next time